section one from the riff, another one bites the dust by Queen. This is more famous as a bass riff, but the guitar part does mirror the bass part at certain points on the record. Also, if you hear a recording of Queen playing this live, Brian May certainly played parts that mirror the bass part live uh, for sure. So, it's a very interesting one to play on the guitar. It starts off with the A note, which is on fret five of the sixth string, and goes to the G, which is on fret three of the sixth string, and then down to the E, which is the open sixth string. So it begins like this. It comes in after the count of three, four. So you'd have that as a start. That happens at certain parts of the song, not all the time. Sometimes we have that, that introductory riff. We then have another two E's. So putting that together, we have this. We then have another three E's, followed by a G to an E, and then an A. So all together that was this. So a lot of open E's in there, ending up with a G to an E and back to an A. right hand picking pattern for this section is a down, then an up, then a down. When we hit the low E's at the bottom, it's best to play the first three as straight down picks, like this. You'll also notice that I'm putting the pick back on the low E string to deaden it also with the palm of my hand on the sixth string, as these notes must be short. We don't want... So this opening part is this. Down, up, down, down, down. When we have these three E's which come up here, I'm playing those as an up and then two downs because they're quite quick. The G is then played as a down. The open E is an up. And then the A is a down. The picking here is a lot quicker, so you need to employ some alternate picking to facilitate this. This is section two of the riff, which has three lines in, in essence, the first and third lines being the same, line two being slightly different. The first line starts with a C, which we use our, on which we use our first finger, fret three, string five, then a C sharp, finger two, string five, fret four, and then a third finger on the D, which is on string five, fret five. <laughs> So we have three C's at the beginning, then the C sharp, and then the D. We then go up to a high G, which is on the fifth fret, under the third finger on string four. And round off with a low G on the sixth string at the third fret. Play that again. The next line is very similar, but without the high G. Rhythm's obviously slightly different, but the high G is missing. If I put those two together, we have this. We then have that first line again. So those three lines put together sound like this. The right hand picking pattern for this part of the riff has to employ some alternate picking, that's to say down picks and up picks. We're playing in 16th notes here for a lot of this, so these are going by quite quickly, so we need to go down up, but not all the time. At the beginning of the section, where the C is, I'm going to play those with downs. The first three are all down. When I then go to the C sharp, I'm going to pick up. And then the D is a down. I play the high G with an up, and then the low G with a down. So that was... When we go into the middle part, exactly the same. On the C's, three downs, up on the C sharp, and down on the D. 
and down on the G. Those two together. And the third line is exactly the same as the first line, so the picking quite slowly looks like this. Section 3 in the left hand is similar to section 2 in the left hand in terms of phrasing and, and fingering, but the notes are now A at the 5th fret on the 6th string, A sharp on the 6th string on the 6th fret, and B on the 7th fret on the 6th string, which is this. This is then followed with a chord of G5, which is like a conventional G major chord shape, but we have our 3rd finger on the second string at the third fret and a little finger on the top string at the third fret. Our second finger is on the sixth string at the third fret and that's muting the fifth string so that one's dead. That chord of G5 comes straight after this third section of the riff like this. <laughs> The right hand picking pattern for section 3 is almost identical to section 2. Where we play the A at the beginning, it's down, two down strokes there, then down, up, down. Because that's quite quick. When we then play the G5 chord, play that as an upstroke. That sounds much more dramatic because we're catching the high strings first. It's off the beat and has a real punch to it. And this is it with all the sections put together. Mm -hmm.